What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. Y'all know how sometimes things just come to you out of nowhere, especially when you've been doing something for so long and you just noticed the vast amounts of changes that we have gone through over the last couple of years. But before we get too in depth with this video, Army, I am letting y'all know that tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, your boy is going live on whatnot for the retail rally for the Air Jordan 11 Low 72 and 10. We will be dropping these again for retail. I have multiple sizes available, so make sure y'all click the link in the description section below. Sign up for whatnot. Make sure y'all payments are ready. Make sure y'all got all of y'all credit card information in, your name, your billing address, all that good jazz. Because again, I got 20 pairs of the Air Jordan 11, 72 and 10s. Army, I may, I may auction off some of the Chicago merch, probably the black Chicago merch to actually match the Air Jordan 11, 72 and 10s. I still got some sizes in the hoodies. I only got a couple sizes in the joggers, but hoodies, I think I got enough to at least do a full size from small to 5X in the hoodie. If that's something that y'all also will want, just make sure y'all comment merch in the comment section below so that way I can check it out. Now, Army, I have seen this post on Facebook and it was very, very bittersweet because I was just like, bruh, back then things were just so good. Now, I know you cannot live in the past. But you can always just remember and just reminisce on like the good days. And I actually seen one of my memories on Facebook of the Travis Scott release. Now, and I'm talking about the OG joints. And, um, bruh, it was, I don't want to say it was easy, but the chances of actually getting these type of shoes back then, you actually had a chance. Now I feel like there's no chance. Now there's some people that might be like, break, like I ain't have a chance back in 2019. You know, you was hitting on the foot action ad back then. I still wasn't taking dubs, but a lot of people was taking dubs. When these dropped, first time they dropped, they dropped on Travis Scott website. Bam, some way, somehow, I got through Q, I got a dub. I hit on foot action app, myself, wifey hit. Then I hit on the sneaker pass, so just things back then, I just felt like it was chaos, but it was controlled chaos. I took all this for granted, you know, and I'm not about to sit here like, I don't know how to get the, you know, the shoes after they release, or I don't have, you know, somebody I can hit up after the release and be like, hey, bro, you know, how much you selling for? Like, I still have the accessibility to get whatever shoe that I want, but I just feel like I took retail for granted. Like, I can look behind me and just say, Travis Scott ones I got for retail via one of the apps. Not for resale, the yellow pair, the red pair, the Travis fours, the first pair of the Travis sixes, black cement threes, white cement fours, like shoes that's going like buku bread. I can honestly say that, man, it was a pleasure to be able to get them joints for a dub because now I know if they were to drop any of them shoes, but it's gonna be a headache. Like I don't see how I will ever be able to get another Travis Scott for retail unless I hit it via the draw on sneakers app. Cause I ain't hitting it on no apps, especially not no Foot Locker app. So it's just, man, bro, like, I, I can't say we took all this for granted, but I can definitely say I took a lot of this just getting shoes for retail, hitting these shoes on the app because I don't think we will ever get back to a time where it was that easy. But I hope that one day we get to a point where more people can say, hey man, I was able to get this shoe for a dub. Now, if you're on Union or if you're on like My Year or whatever these websites are now that you gotta try to get these hype shoes, you gotta put a box around a cat or you gotta put a box around an airplane like things are just so difficult now seeing that picture just led me on to today's topic i just felt like back then everybody could eat or less majority of people whether you wanted to get the shoe for retail whether you want to get the shoe for personal wares or you know add to your collection or whether you was a reseller i felt like everybody was able to eat now of course man we know reselling goes way back to Honestly, I would say the 90s. I don't feel like resale just happened in the early 2000s. Resale has been prevalent for a very long time. But I just feel like as of now, it's just completely different. I feel like only a small amount of people are getting dubs, and then only a small amount of people are actually eating. It's to the point now where I hit no men pairs on FLX app. Foot action, 
Foot Locker and Champs app back in the day when we actually used to see that 10 second countdown. It was just like, I see the 10 second countdown, I'll put my phone back, I know I'm coming back to the dub. That was back when we used to have to actually go into the store and you know, have to do the beacon and things of that nature. That may also be another reason why I feel like a lot of people was eating was because you actually had to leave the crib or necessarily put in footwork to actually get a dub and you have to go to the store and do the beacon or you have to know somebody who knew somebody where you can get the code. Like now everything you can literally do at your crib and most of these bots are able to literally do anything that a human can just do on his phone. So it's not like you can just go into the store and get the codes and things like that. Everything is pretty much on your phone whether or not you're gonna get a dub. It's Hibbies, Jimmy Jazz, DTLR, Foot Locker, Finish Line, JD Sport, Chic, everything is via an app now. If you still work at a shoe store, do they even still count conversion? Because I'm pretty sure that the foot traffic in and out of stores is not what it used to be. Heck, even three, four years ago, everything is, hey, you walking in the store trying to get a hype shoe, you gotta have a reservation. So that's eliminating a lot of foot traffic, which is also eliminating a lot of people just coming into the store, just picking up miscellaneous things. Oh, they gotta, oh, they got these on here? Like, let me grab these for my daughter. Oh, they got these right here? Let me do this. Like, since you're not really going into the store, I feel like a lot of things that probably would sell just miscellaneous thing it's probably sitting now because to be honest if i'm not getting the dub on any of these apps it's pointless for me to go to the mall and again army i just feel like a couple years ago everybody could eat i just remember being able to hit on hibbits or being able to hit on DTLR, or just being able to hit on Foot Locker, whether it was you gotta keep manually just hitting the add to cart button over and over again until the shoe actually adds to the cart. All that stuff is over. Now, one thing that I can say definitely affected everything was COVID. And sitting here thinking like, backdooring has been happening for years. Again, just like resale has been going on for years, but backdooring is such at a high right now that again, because of COVID, the retailers slowly started to become the resellers because once COVID had some of these stores closed, a lot of the mom and pop shops were still able to move merchandise in, which opened up the doors to a lot of the people in the community who had no clue about these stores selling early pairs. And now all of these stores want top dollar for early product because once COVID hit, you had the random Joe Schmoes who you know needed a pair of shoes because the mall was closed they heard that this place was, you know, selling the shoes early and they was taxing on it. They was taxing so hard that the tax hasn't even came down. Like most of these stores right now are still selling these shoes at the high price early now because once COVID was rampant, they were able to do so and they still got those customers in that clientele who still willing to pay that price because they know they have no chance of grabbing the shoes for retail at the mall. So again, a lot of the retailers have become resellers and it's still going on. Because again, going back to the old Foot Action app, you only had two apps at that time. You had Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs, and I always, you know, put them under the same umbrella. And then you had the Sneakers app. So you was gonna get a dub some way, somehow. Most of these other stores like DTLR, Jimmy Jazz, Finish Line, Shoe Palace, like all of those stores was getting the foot traffic because they didn't have an app, which made it easier for the people who was gung-ho on getting the app. I've always been one for the apps because Again, it's easy, you lock it in, go pick up your pair. For the most part, you didn't have to stand in line. But the people who didn't like the apps, the people who didn't know anything about the apps, it really decreased a lot of people's chances of actually getting dubbed. Because think of it like this. Because you got a lot of people who don't want to wait on apps or who don't know how to do apps or who don't have a smartphone or who don't want to wait for a shoe to be mailed to you. All those people was the people who was waiting in line, going in the stores, the, the DTLRs, the Jimmy Jazz, and things like that. They wasn't paying no attention to these apps. But once all of those stores said, hey, look, man, look, we switching over to an app. Now everybody is on the app. Now everybody is trying to do the same thing at one time. You Again, you had a certain amount of people who was like strictly apps, and then you had a certain amount of people who was, man, look, I like to stand in line, first come, first serve, do an in-store raffle, whatever the case would be. So it was a little bit of a division, but to me, it seemed like it was a lot more calm with just being able to get a dub, whether it was on an app or get a dub, whether it was, you know, going in the store. Because again, you still got some people who prefer first come, first serve over trying to do an app. 
because they know their chances of hitting on these apps is slim to none. And I think right there is the downfall of the sneaker community making everything via the app. Because again, before everything was switched over to app, you had a you had two lines you could either be in. Everybody who want to do the app stand in this line. Everybody who want to do first come first serve stand in that line. You had options. Now you literally got everybody in one line literally trying to rush into one door at the same time. It's always going to cause issues. And I'm hoping that some way, somehow, it can be a fix to this. But again, I rarely even try to enter on FLS because I'm like, why would I enter when I know I'm going to take an L? I want to say my last like successful run on Flex was probably for the cool grades. And that's because they had, what, millions of pairs. But ever since then, it's just been a downfall army so y'all let me know how y'all been surviving man again I, I really do think this is the rise and the fall of the sneaker community i feel like when they first start implementing the apps for certain stores it was cool again it gave people choices it gave people options now we don't have no options everybody's option is the same thing it ain't really no pick or choose and all of these apps are hard to hit on whether it's hibbits i've yet to hit on hibbits yet to hit on jimmy jazz you know, Flex app, I may hit a grade school or a toddler shoe via ship to me. Sneakers app is hit or miss. So that's why a lot of people are actually leaving the sneaker community. That's why prices on sneakers are starting to go down as far as what a shoe was once worth is because nobody is buying it now. Either the shoe that you want still already too high or the regular GR that you want for the most part, you still can't even get. Because again, I felt like back then I had like a 70% chance of getting a dub on the app. Right now, man, it's about like a fifteen percent chance I'm gonna get a dub. Even with the Air Jordan Six Midnight Navies dropping tomorrow, and I know that resale ain't that high on them, I still feel like I may take an L via the draw tomorrow. Like <laughs> just being a buck, and that's the shoe that I've been wanting for like the last six, seven months. That's just the world we living in right now with sneakers. Nothing is guaranteed like it used to be. And Army, comment down below what y'all think some solutions may be. I honestly think. Man, certain releases, if it's not that hype, because they were doing this at one point. Do y'all remember at one point in time, they were pick and choose which shoes that they would do reservations on? And that mainly goes for like the Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs, where Brandon Foot Action is gone. But like certain shoes, it'll just be in store, first come, first serve. And then like the hype shoes, they will put on there via the app. But now every shoe is on there via the app. Some of these shoes don't even sell out. And when they don't sell out, not doing what they said they were originally gonna do, which was put everything back on the app. Once the shoes don't sell out, now it's back to the whole first come, first serve thing. So that's another thing with them switching over things that they said they was gonna do. I remember at one point they said every shoe is gonna go back on the app if it did not sell out. Now. Chili Reds dropped, right? You took an L on the app, but then the next day, you got people lining up in the stores trying to get them. So we're just like, bro, like, what is it? <laughs> it's, like, it's like you can't keep up with everything that's going. One store may do this, another store may do this, and this store may do this. Bro, it's, it's really all over the place. To me, the sneaker community, the sneaker game, the sneaker industry, whatever you want to call it, it's a mess. And again, I think that they should go back to the ways with like hype shoes, the hype releases, those should be on the app or those should be via the draw. Then the, you know, shoes that not really going that well, a lot of people ain't really trying to get them. Those should be first come first serve so the people who actually want the shoe can get a chance to get them. And last but not least, Army, I would say the last thing that has really hurt Nike and Jordan will 100% be all these pushbacks, man. One, you cannot keep up with the release dates. And then two, you start to lose interest in certain shoes. For me, it's kind of difficult for me to lose interest in particular shoes. Again, like the Air Jordan six midnight navies like i've been wanting them since november they drop tomorrow i need my pair but it could have been other shoes like the chili reds where well, somebody needed that all red shoe in that particular month now they don't need it no more so they're not gonna pick it up so it's just like you lose interest once these shoes get pushed back after pushback after pushback you get to the point where like man bro i just take these and i don't even need them no more so again army let me know how y'all feel the sneaker community is do y'all think it's coming to an end i think we're in a bad spot right now but i do see a light at the tunnel I do think that resale is gonna kick back up you know, once everything fixes itself, like the shoe industry is kind of like the car industry, kind of like the housing industry. It's all over the place, but eventually once it fixes itself, then I feel like things will start rolling like it was at one point. So again, Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel. 
comment down below hit that like button if you have enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel if you are new over here i hope to see all you guys during the whatnot live stream for the retail rally on the air jordan 11 72 and 10s and other than that you got your boy unbreakable you got the unbreakable vault unbreakable army stand strong like always most importantly hug your loved ones and of course remain humble and we out I hit unbreakable for the users he the plug call them when i need them these old tough but he get a music yours old him first season the most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps cause your ass taking nails.